Okay, hey collector. So this is gonna be a collective reading. Collective, I'm getting like you're gonna be blessed for what you did to help somebody. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting it some significant in regards to like a non-profit here. What's going on here with the collective? What's going on here with the collective? I'm getting this person could have been struggling or something like that here as well. This could be a masculine energy that you helped. That's what I'm getting. Own your space with confidence. Um, I'm getting like you could have helped this masculine energy. I'm getting in regards to like, I don't know why I'm getting stability, but it does not have to be whatever it is you help this masculine energy with. It's like you're being blessed because of this. Or you will be. I'm getting like there's a group of individuals that's going to like gather together to help you. That's what I'm getting. Like there could be a group of individuals that gather together to help this emperor energy because of you. Like you are a healer. That's what I'm getting. You're a healer or it's your purpose to be of service to other people. That's what I'm getting. People who are, you know, kind of down on their luck. You know, struggling or it could be dealing with issues in regards to finances. But whoever you are, you help the masculine energy here. And like the same people that gather together to help you help this masculine energy. Like those individuals are going to gather together to help you. Somebody also feels like you are an earth angel. Somebody wants to know like, somebody wants to know your story. What's going on here? Yeah, whoever you are, you are this empress. I'm getting the will of fortune is about to shift in your favor for like acts of kindness. That's what I'm getting for you being of service to other people. Yeah, what's going on here? Yep, I'm telling you. You know what I'm also getting? You could have even helped the emperor energy that like in the past, could have been like judging you or something. That's not going to be for everyone. I'm also getting something in regards to like, um, give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get my cat. But yeah, I'm getting something in regards to like Jeju Island and South Korea could be significant as well. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm getting like, you help somebody... You could have just been going about your day here. That's what I'm getting. I'm being drawn to how, like, he's just minding his business. You could have been just going about your day, and there was somebody in need. And instead of you being judgmental, you stepped in and you helped this individual. That's what I'm getting. You're going to be blessed for that here. Yep. What's going on here? I could be speaking to a masculine energy and like you helped another masculine energy here. I'm also getting like you're very selfless or what you did was selfless. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. And like you didn't think twice about it. You didn't think twice about it. What you did was selfless. I'm either speaking to a masculine energy or a feminine energy with this empress here. But like whoever you are. You're somebody that's very nurturing here as well. Like, you're very compassionate. You look out for other people. That's what I'm getting. Somebody feels like they did you wrong here. Yeah, somebody prejudged you. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody felt like you were, it could be an emperor energy here. Like, this individual felt like you were mean, but, like, you're not this queen of swords. Like, you can be if you need to be. But, like, you're genuinely, like, a good person. That's what I'm getting. Somebody felt like you were, like, a queen of swords energy, like I said, but you're a good person. So, I could be speaking to a masculine energy or feminine energy, but somebody judged you. And, like, you still help this person. That's what I'm getting, like, or this could be you here as well. It's like you took the time to help somebody even though you know that like there are some people out here maybe this was a complete stranger here that you helped this emperor energy and like you didn't lose that pure innocence about yourself it's like even though you know there are people out here with malicious intent 
you saw somebody in need and you still help this person. This could also be somebody that was like homeless or something like that. Or somebody was like down bad. Somebody was down bad, doing bad, and you helped this individual. That's what I'm getting. You weren't judging this person. That's what I'm getting with this Queen of Swords in reverse. Like you weren't judging this person. Everybody falls on hard times. You never know what could have happened in this individual's life to have them in the position that they're in. If this is somebody that, you know, was down on their luck or, yeah. I'm telling you, this could even be somebody that, like, lost their job here. Somebody could have lost their job. Like, there was a series of events that happened in an Emperor Energy's life. And you helped this person. I'm getting get clarity. Or you could have even, like, gathered some type of support here for this individual here. I'm really getting something that's significant in regards to fundraising or a nonprofit. That's what I'm getting. Yep, you're very selfless, whoever you are. You're a very generous person. You're a very selfless person. You're a very compassionate person. That's what I'm getting. And even though this world has a lot of crazy things going on, it did not stop you from helping somebody in need. That's what I'm getting. Like, it did not stop you. You could be this empress energy here. For some, I'm speaking to a masculine energy, you know, a plot of roses, they fit. But for some, I could be speaking to a feminine energy and you help somebody, even though, you know, like I'm getting, you were aware, but at the same time, like you saw somebody in need. So you helped this individual. There are a lot of people that admire your heart. There are a lot of people that admire you. There are, like, whoever this emperor energy is, this person could see you as, like, an earth angel. Uh, this person feels like you helped him tremendously. Like, he feels like you are, like, I don't know. He feels like you are an earth angel, a blessing, a gift from God sent to him. That's what I'm getting. What's going on here? Yep. Um, For some, I'm getting... Wow. For some, this emperor energy feels like he made some poor decisions in his life here as well. That's what I'm getting that led him to being in a situation as to where he was struggling. That's what I'm getting. And um, it's just like he was just trying to make ends meet. But you spoke life into this man or whatever you did through your generosity, your compassion. Like, he know, you know what I'm also getting? This emperor energy here, he's very protective in regards to you. Because he's like, he's thankful, he's grateful for you helping him. But also he knows that there are a lot of people out here that are like trying to like, do underhanded things to feminine energy so he is concerned in regards to you like he appreciates what you did he sees you as an earth angel but at the same time he's like very protective this is an older masculine energy that's what i'm getting i'm getting somebody could be in their like late 50s early 60s or you know a plot of roses they fit does not have to be but like he knows that you went out of your way to help him but he wants you to like make sure that because this is like whatever you did is your calling. That's what I'm getting. Whatever you did is your calling here. That's why I'm getting something in regards to a nonprofit. But he wants you to be safe. He wants you to be safe. He really wants you to be safe here. Yep. I'm telling you, something is your calling here. That's what I'm get that's what I'm getting here. Like, yeah. You're a very generous person. You're a very loving person. You're a very, like, selfless person. Somebody sees you as very selfless. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah. It's like, despite what you have going on, you still show up to help other people. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry. That's my daughter's kitten. You may hear him. Uh, <laughs> His name is Sage. You may hear him meowing. Uh, yeah, and he's trying to get on the table. Okay, come on, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, she has me babysitting. 
Um, it's some type of tower moment here as well. I'm also getting, you could do something in regards to like animal rescue here as well. But yes, yeah, a tower moment here. Um, there are a group of individuals that are going to band together to support you because of like somebody sees your heart. Somebody sees that you have pure intention. Somebody sees that you are a good person here. That's what I'm getting. You can have earth highly aspected in your chart, fire highly aspected in your chart here as well. That's what I'm getting. Yep, I'm telling you, like, wow. It's some type of truth here. Somebody is realizing you are a good person. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody is realizing you are a good person, but this person was judging you and didn't like you in the past. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Yep. Something is about to like transform here as well. I'm sorry, this kitten, he is all over the place. He is a little bitty tiny thing here as well. Like adorable. But he's very, very active. Like he's trying to get on the table. He wants to see what's going on with these cards and all of that. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. He's looking for my daughter. Um... <laughs> Okay, what's going on here with the collective? Yeah, he was guarded towards you. That's what I'm getting. Like, he was guarded towards you or somebody was guarded towards you or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, somebody was guarded or it's something in regards to him struggling. He was struggling to overcome it's some type of mindset that he was in here as well in the past. If he was struggling financially, like I said, he could have lost his job or something like that. He was in a very dark place. That's what I'm getting. Um, it could be something that happened years ago here as well. And he has been struggling ever since. But it's something in regards to like the words that you spoke to him. Words of encouragement. That's what I'm getting like. He appreciates you for not allowing him to stay in that victim mentality. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Yep. I'm telling you. He appreciates you for like, it's something in regards to your energy and your mindset. That's what I'm getting. Like, you have a very optimistic outlook on life. That's what I'm getting. And you help people when they need help. That's what I'm getting. This could be like a complete stranger to you. That is why you are being blessed. You are going to receive a spiritual inheritance here. I'm telling you for something that you did to help somebody else, a selfless act that you did to help somebody else. You knew that you had nothing to gain in regards to a situation. You just wanted to see somebody else doing better. That's what I'm getting here. So like you went out of your way to help this person out of your schedule, out of whatever you were doing. That's what I'm getting. What's going on here? And because of that, like, I'm telling you, you're going to receive some type of blessing here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, whoever this masculine energy is, you have no clue how much he was. You could have also experienced a situation as to where you were struggling financially or lost your job. So you know what it's like to go without. You know what it's like to not have. You know what it's like to not know what you're, how you're going to pay that bill. You know, how you're going to provide for your family. Even if you, like, you could be a student. You could have a, you know, a side hustle. But those things take time to build. And, you know, so there's somebody that appreciates like the words that you spoke or something that you did. That's what I'm getting. But you could be speaking from life experience. That's what I'm getting. Like I said, you know what it's like. You know what it's like. You know what it's like to struggle. You know what it's like to go without, to have to go without. You know what it's like to not know where that next meal is going to come from. You know what that's like. Yep. That's why somebody appreciates you. There's an emperor energy that somebody feels like you're a very humble individual here as well. That's what I'm getting. Somebody feels like you're very humble. You're very selfless. You're very compassionate. Yeah. I'm also getting like, 
you know what it's like to experience injustice in life here as well like some type of injustice something was like it's like the harder you work the more work you put in it's like you couldn't like move forward it felt like it was like an uphill battle that's what i'm getting the more work you put in it was like you couldn't move forward it was like an uphill battle like something was trying to keep you like from moving forward and succeeding in life that's what i'm getting but you came to a place of acceptance in regards to this situation. This could be you or this could be this emperor energy or this is some energy that you were in in the past. Like something unjust happened. You could have lost your job in a very unfair, unjust way. That's what I'm getting. Whoever you are, you are in your life purpose. But you spoke words of encouragement to somebody. Uh, Leo is definitely significant to somebody here as well. But you spoke some type of words of encouragement to somebody that was dealing with a similar situation as you. That's what I'm getting. You weren't hard on yourself. On yourself, You were patient with yourself. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you experienced some type of change. It was some type of change or fluctuations in regards to employment. That's what I'm getting. Taurus could also be significant to you here as well. Yep, Leo here. It was some type of, it was something in regards to, this could be a business or a side hustle that you have. It was some type of uh, fluctuation here. But your outlook on life, your ability to stay positive, even though like, like whoever you are, you are a glass half full person. That's what I'm getting in your outlook on life. Like I'm telling you. You hold like, you're very like wise. A very wise person a very wise you could be like an old soul you have like this old soul so you have a, a appreciation of life and like the world nature beauty art you could be an artist or something like that you know a pot of roses they fit or you're somebody that's very open-minded your connection to source creator god like i'm telling you i'm really like whoever you are you are an earth angel you are an earth angel, I'm telling you. And you look at life and like, I'm getting a really like warm feeling or like chills. Like you have a very beautiful outlook on life. That's what I'm getting. And somebody appreciates you for that. Yeah. What's going on here? Um, Whoever this individual is. I'm also getting like somebody could have been judging you because you're spiritual here as well. But somebody is starting to get a deeper understanding in regards to you. That's what I'm getting. Um, Yeah. Your connection with God. Like I'm telling you, like somebody is getting a deeper understanding in regards to you. That's what I'm getting. This could also be somebody that was like kind of religious. So this person just kind of dismiss you. Like you could be somebody like you're more spiritual and this person is more religious. So this individual kind of just dismissed what you were saying or something like that here. But somebody is starting to see that they have more in common with you than like they thought. What's going on here? Yep, I'm telling you. Like whoever, oh we, you know what I'm also getting? Uh, Eric could be significant here as well, but this person was like, somebody was planning to like betray you. Uh, somebody was mad at you here in the past. This is so weird. Somebody was mad at you in the past and planning to betray you or something like that. And it could be because of, I don't know why it could be in regards to like intuition that's not gonna be for everyone like somebody was mad at you in regards to your intuition or something like that here this person is getting like a deeper understanding or i don't know yeah what else do you want the collective to know in regards to this because that just disappointed me like how do you have somebody that like goes out of their way to help you and somebody is in this energy towards you planning to do something underhanded Yeah, whoever this individual is, this person has a lot of love uh, for you now. That's what I'm getting now. Um, this person, if you were struggling financially, the lovers fell on the floor. And I just pulled this 
eight of cups off the top of the deck um whoever you are if you were struggling financially this person was happy this person was happy this could be somebody that was involved in like you know what I'm getting. And this could be similar energy in regards to that reading that I got the other day. So I'm about to like close this out. And of course, this is not going to be for everyone. For some, in that reading that I got previously, it was like somebody kept doing something underhanded to another person. But like everything this person did to like try to get another person fired like or whatever it was, block their money, like it happened to them. So maybe that could be what you're dealing with. Like... Maybe somebody was involved in trying to block your money and was happy that something was ending for you or slowing down for you or something like that. And then like this person was celebrating something slowing down for you and that happened to them. Do you see what I'm saying? Like then you were speaking words of encouragement to this individual. You inspired this person. Somebody's getting a whole new perspective in regards to you, but it's crazy that somebody was celebrating like somebody was celebrating your downfall or praying for like something that you were doing. You could be in your life purpose. Somebody was praying for that to end. That's so crazy. The energy you put out is what you get back. So if you're praying for somebody to lose their job and be doing bad and all of that stuff, then like I'm telling you, Somebody was hoping that somebody was watching something that you're building and hoping that like it, I don't know. Yep. Somebody was hoping that people didn't want to collaborate with you. You would be up in your head because nobody like somebody could have tried to have you outcasted or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wanted you outcasted or out of something. Somebody felt like you were not like intuitive or something weird like that. That's why I said I'm about to close this out because this is somebody that's very like whoever this individual is, this person could be feeling bad. Like this person feels like they were like ungrateful or something like that here towards you. Yep. This person. Ooh, we, you know what I'm also getting? This person was mad. See, whoever you are, you are receiving a spiritual inheritance because you help other people. This emperor energy, or this could be another energy. You know, a plot of roses, they fit. There is an emperor energy that's grateful for you, but you can have another energy that was like hoping that something ended for you. Like it's your life purpose to help other people. Somebody was mad at you because like you get attention for doing it or because you have a nonprofit or somebody wanted you to do something for free and felt like you helping other people, like you should not be rewarded or blessed by God for that. Somebody felt like you should not be blessed by the divine for helping other people. Somebody felt like you shouldn't get blessed for that. That's what I'm getting. Like whoever you are, you do it despite like I'm getting the danger. So something that you do could be kind of like dangerous. That's what I'm getting. Like you go out of your way to help other people, but maybe like you receive threats or something like that. Or this other energy that's coming into this reading could be the individual that was threatening you. Like you have an emperor energy here, but I'm really getting this emperor energy sees you as an earth angel. But there is another emperor energy or another energy it does not have to be an emperor, but there is another energy that was mad that you received like blessings from the universe for doing this. And somebody wanted to like end that. And I'm telling you, somebody is learning a lesson. Like somebody, I'm man, look here. Somebody, whoever you are, you're in your life purpose. That's what I'm getting. And you work closely with the divine. That's what I'm getting. I'm telling you, like you are an earth angel. And somebody was like, no, nah, you shouldn't have that. You shouldn't be, uh, you know, I'm getting rewarded financially for doing that. That's what this individual felt like. So this person was like, well, I'm going to stop that for you. And this person proceeded to try to do something underhanded to you to stop that. I'm telling you. And like God was like, oh, no, that's not how that's about to go. I'm telling you. <laughs> somebody didn't want you to be this queen of pentacles or something like that here 
Yep. I'm telling you, didn't I say the divine stepped in and was like, oh, what? What you? Oh, so you feel like this individual shouldn't have something that's divinely meant for them. This is a spiritual inheritance that you're receiving. And there's a third party that was like, nope, you shouldn't be receiving that spiritual inheritance. So somebody tried to intervene and stop the divine or something from blessing you. Somebody tried to take your blessings or stop your blessings or something like that. Man, look here. And this person went around telling other people that, like, you didn't deserve some type of spiritual inheritance. Anything else? And then I'm ending this. I'm telling you right now, nobody can take this from you. Or they can work as hard as they can to try to suppress it, block it, slow it down, and, you know, cause setbacks to stop you from receiving this spiritual inheritance, but it's still coming through for you. What's going to be the outcome of this situation here? What's going to be the outcome? Um, whoever you are, I'm really, something is very significant in regards to fire. What's going to be the outcome? I'm really getting, whoever I'm speaking to, you really got to get out of that, like, pessimistic outlook. Um... I know it's easier said than done, especially when somebody is like, I'm getting like, it's your life purpose to help people. And somebody's trying to like stop you from doing that. Um, whoever you are, like, what's going to be the outcome of this situation? You really, you got to work on like your confidence or something like that here. It's something in regards to your confidence in regards to something that you do here as well. Somebody's going to try, like somebody's going to try you. Somebody's going to try to break your confidence. That's what this is to get you to stop doing something. So you won't move forward and help more people. That's what I'm getting. This could be like, you know what I'm getting? This person does not realize that's crazy. Somebody is going against the divine trying to do this to you. Trying to break your confidence so that you will stop doing something. Trying to make you feel like you're not divine. You're not. Um, I don't know. I'm getting intuitive or something like that here. Yep. Somebody's really trying to break your confidence. And you do not let this. Don't let this person get in your head. I'm going to just tell you. Don't let this person get in your head. Because if you do that, you're going to start holding back. You're going to start second guessing yourself. Then you're going to stop doing something. Man, look. Do you know how pissed the divine is at whoever this other energy is that came in and did this to you? Somebody was print. Somebody was so happy. If something slowed down for you, ooh. Okay, I'm about to end this. For some, like I was saying previously, this emperor energy could be. There's two. You help a lot of people. You help a lot of people. Don't let one ungrateful, disrespectful person stop you from helping people. That's what I'm getting. Don't don't allow that. Don't allow that. Uh, whoever this energy is that like was happy, like I said, when some slowed down for you, because this person felt like you should not be receiving a spiritual inheritance for like what you do or being of service to other people or using your, uh, you know, spiritual gifts to help other people because this person was celebrating, uh, some slowing down for you. I'm telling you some happened in regards to this person's like money. <laughs> I'm telling you. And you were speaking words of encouragement to this person. When this person experienced whatever tower moment this is in regards to money. So somebody that was celebrating and praying for your downfall in regards to your finances. Experienced a tower moment financially. And things are improving for you. Because you accept where you are at regardless of the stage of your journey. You understand like things move up and down. Changes like changes constant. Fluctuations are constant. I mean, but you're not going to stop doing what you're doing. That's what I'm getting. And like, damn.
Yep. Whoever you are, it doesn't matter where you're at. If you're dealing with some type of disappointment or something like that, you like, you stay strong. You stay strong. Like you never see a setback as a setback. You see it as a learning opportunity and you build from there. That's what I'm getting like. Um, somebody wants to come in. You can have somebody that's wanting to come in. I don't know. It's like this person, this person regrets something that he did to you, but he does not want to apologize to you. He's not going to apologize to you because he's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. So like he's been contemplating like, publicly apologizing to you that's what i'm getting because he knows that like he tried to destroy or silence an earth angel he's one to publicly apologize to you but he's too embarrassed why is he embarrassed to apologize i'm getting this because he gathered a bunch of people to like try to stop you from doing something and now he's gonna have to explain to these people why he had a change of heart or why, like, he wants to apologize to you. Okay, that's his ego. His ego was stopping him from apologizing to you. Yep. Why doesn't he, like, why isn't he apologizing? Or why is he embarrassed to apologize? Because he was just so sure. He was so sure you were this queen of swords. He was so sure. Man, look. He was so sure, man. Uh, whoever he is, he made it whatever he did, it was not like him. It's like he impulsively like tried to. Oh, wait, I'm getting he impulsively tried to call you out, or he impulsively tried to go up against you. Didn't know he didn't know he was going up against the divine or something like that, like trying to silence you. He was like, oh, well, I'm going to silence you and stop you from doing what you're doing. And that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a bad idea. He didn't know. See, he didn't know, but now he knows. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. It's like he knew. He knew, but he was like, I don't know. This is weird. It's like he wants to make you a, he wants to apologize to you. And he wants to publicly apologize to you. But he's too in his ego because he gathered a bunch of people to try to silence you and destroy you and go against you and all of that. And now he has to go back and tell these individuals why he no longer wants to try to destroy you and why he sees you as a good person. So he feels like it's easier if he just like does not say anything. Whoever you are, I'm getting you help a lot of people. So like I said, there is an emperor energy here that's very thankful and grateful for you. This individual sees you as an earth angel, appreciates everything you did for him, whoever you are, male or female. There is another energy here that's like, somebody could also be mad because you're getting a lot of attention. So if you help somebody, this individual appreciates you, but there is somebody else in your energy that's mad because you get attention from helping people or somebody that you help. It's a lot of attention being drawn to somebody that you help. People want to know your story, all of that. There is somebody that's going to try to come in at the height of all this and like try to like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like this person is either going to try to call you out or this individual is going to try to like break your confidence, accuse you of being a queen of swords or not like you're not a good person. Everybody sees you're a good person. I'm also getting this person is going to get embarrassed by like trying to do this to you because there are a lot of people that are going to like check this person for doing it. A lot of people are going to get on this individual's head for doing it to you for like trying to, who is this person that's trying to come in and stop the collective from helping people or whatever this is. Like somebody is mad you getting attention. Who is this? This could be an ex. Doesn't have to be. Um, yep, could be an ex. Could be a cancer. Damn, what? This is a cancer. 
This is X. That's what the chariot here and the king of cups with this three of swords here. Somebody could also, like I said, have Libra in their chart. Or like this person, whoever this person is, this king of cups, he tried to gather people. Like, oh, such and such is not a good person. They're really this queen of swords. And then like your action spoke for itself. Somebody is seeing that you are a good person. And like now he's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. Because he told all of these people that you were not a good person. He told all of these people that you were not like, I'm getting intuitive or whatever he didn't told these people. He told all of these people that you did not deserve a spiritual inheritance. He told all of these people you were not an empress. You were not compassionate when you are very compassionate. You're very protective. You're very like whoever you are. And I'm also getting you help people that want to help themselves here as well. That's what I'm getting. You don't do that victim. See, this could be somebody that's a professional victim. You don't do all of that. You don't know. It's like, okay, you deal with things as they come, but you don't sit in it. Okay, you lost your job. Okay, some slow down for you. What do you do? Do you sit there and stew in it or do you continue to grow, build, and move forward? I don't know. Somebody was triggered by your energy. This is a, for some, this is an X. That was like upset in regards to you or like I said, whoever you are, you're helping somebody, another masculine energy. This ex could be somebody that's like very, got a very competitive energy or sees you as competition. Like he is in his ego. That's what I'm getting. His false self. He's very jealous. He's very competitive. He's very like, he's obsessed with power. He's obsessed with like being seen and like he wants to be like he knows everything and like he's the highly spiritual one that's what i'm getting and he's mad as hell that you get attention it's like he's mad as hell that you get attention he's mad as hell that you're able to manifest and like bring in like i'm getting like it's your energy that's what i'm getting like he's mad as hell that you have this very like high vibrational energy he's mad as hell he's mad as hell because he feels like he can't like he can't compete he can't compete with you he can't compete with your oh wow he can't compete with your like your energy that's what this is he's trying to compete with your energy he could be like yeah he's very competitive this is like a turn off this is a turnoff. For some, this is an ex of yours. And it's like he sees you as competition. He also sees you as somebody that's very inspirational. But it's like you're very original. That's what I'm, you're original. You're, I don't know. And this man's like <laughs> competitive. He like, he's trying to, I don't know. He feels like he can't manifest like you. He feels like he does not have the same outlook on life as you. He feels like you're his competition. Yeah, lighten up. He's doing too much. He's doing way entirely too damn much. That could be why you broke up with him. This is crazy. Like, your ex, I'm just going to say this. Your ex has like, he sees you as, it, this is beyond somebody seeing you as competition. It's like whoever your ex is, he watches everything that you do in your life and he tries to like, it's like he tries to outdo it. And you're not even with him. This could be somebody you're not even in contact with. You're not even dealing with this individual, whoever this king of cups is. Because I asked who this person is. This is somebody's ex. This is somebody's ex. Could be somebody that still wants to be with you or something like that. But he has to tell everybody or explain to everybody why like all the people that he told that you were a bad person they see that you're a good person that's what i'm getting and it's like whatever he sees you doing in life he wants to try to like this is why i said this man sees you as inspiration you know people see other people as inspiration and they appreciate them like in life you have to be inspired something has to inspire you like it's good to have a goal it's good to have a why 
This man's inspiration in life is you being his competition and him wanting to outdo you. This is your ex. You know, some people's inspiration comes from, you know, their children, their family. Some people's inspiration comes from, you know, just themselves, just wanting to, you know, be a better version of themselves. Some people's inspiration comes from wanting to be of service to other people. Some people's inspiration comes from just love, just wanting to be a better person physically, mentally, and spiritually so that you can go out there and, you know, Help other people or, you know, be in that love energy. Love is the closest way to connect to the divine. God is love. God is in all of us. In everything you see, nature, everything you see, I'm telling you. But this man's inspiration comes from, it's like this man is obsessed with you. And his inspiration comes from outdoing anything that you've done in life. And he is up in his head because he feels like he can't compete with you. This is really sad. It's sad. This is sad. Yeah, get out of your own way. It's like he's blocking himself. He's blocking himself. He's trying to compete with an empress. That's what I'm getting. Yep, and it's causing him stress. He could literally be stressed out. He could literally be stressed out. Like, he's stressed out. Yeah, he's not a very optimistic individual. And I got that earlier in the reading. When I said, get out of that, like, stop being so pessimistic, that could be him. That could be who's being pessimistic. It's him. It's like, he was so happy seeing something slow down for you. This is This is crazy. He was so happy seeing something slow down for you because, like, he sees you as competition. It's like he's obsessed. You know, he's obsessed. It's like he deeply admires you, and it's because of his obsession with trying to outdo you, trying to compete with you. It's like he doesn't like you, but he's obsessed with you. I don't know. This energy that took over the whole look here. I'm about to end this reading uh, you got somebody that sees you as inspirational, but this person, like, um, I don't know, but you got somebody else here that you help that sees you as an earth angel. So don't stop doing what you're doing because you got one person that like, he doesn't like you or for whatever reason, like, don't stop doing what you're doing. That's what I'm getting. You're going to have naysayers. You're going to have people that don't like you. If you stop doing what you're doing because somebody didn't like you, like you're never going to do anything with yourself if you allow that to block you. Keep moving forward and keep doing what you're doing. But I'm going to end it there.